It is a major coup for Halifax. Hundreds of photographs by famed photographer Annie Leibovitz have been donated to the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. They'll become part of a permanent exhibit there, thanks to the generosity of a Canadian family. Ross Lord reports. In the world of photography, the woman who took this picture is herself considered royalty. Annie Leibovitz, the New York shutterbug to the stars, the most famous photog on the planet. So it's no wonder art lovers in Halifax are a flutter over the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia's newest acquisition. This is a full career survey of the remarkable photographic work of Annie Leibovitz, and it includes all of the iconic images that you, I'm sure, are familiar with. A collection of 2,000 Leibovitz works, including this snap of the Blues Brothers singing duo and the even more iconic image of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, taken only hours before Lennon was assassinated. Imagine, a collection worth an estimated $20 million donated by the wealthy Mintz family of Toronto with the blessing of Leibovitz, who wanted to make a big impact on a small art gallery. They hope her blend of celebrity culture and creativity will open up the art world to the uninitiated. And this work has a real popular, you know, following. It's, let's face it, it's Vanity Fair, it's Rolling Stone magazine, uh, it's media in a lot of respects, and it's also um, on a more personal side for the work that she did on that level. It's a, you know, it's a real work of art here too. This is going to be the thing that brings in people who've never been in an art museum in their life. They will come to see this work and maybe create another tourist attraction in a province that could really use the cash. There must be a huge number of people who are Annie Leibovitz fans throughout the world. And so now Halifax becomes the hub of Annie Leibovitz fans who want to make a pilgrimage to see this work. The art gallery has had its share of hard luck recently. Water leaks forced it to cancel an exhibition and problems with a sprinkler system caused another temporary closure. But now that fortune is smiling on the century old museum, Curators will consult with Leibovitz to arrange the first exhibition of her work, likely next year. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.